How much does the American public have a right to know when it comes to the physical health of a candidate running for president? Joining me now, Dr. Stephen Reitzman and Mark Smith. Doc, let me start with you. You saw the video. Uh, in, your, uh, in your estimation, uh, is that, could that be a form of pneumonia, walking pneumonia, or could it be something a lot more? You know, if Hillary Clinton came to my office and I saw that video, I wouldn't think of pneumonia as the first cause. I would think, A, there could be a cardiovascular cause of fainting, or, but also neurologic. Her gait was abnormal. We would call it an ataxic gait, an abnormal way of walking. And one has to rule out both a mini stroke and uh, any type of seizure disorder. And she does have a history of fainting in the past. I think in two, December 2012, she had a concussion. She had a fainting episode. So if one, if one wants to be transparent and, and look at what's going on with Hillary Clinton, I would definitely uh, look at those issues. Now, could it be something related to when she, you know, she had, she had the issue with her head uh, that she also said before caused her to make some mistakes with respect to the whole email scandal? Could it be lingering, a lingering effect of that, or could it be other things? Because obviously on social media and the internet, the, the, all of the possibilities are running wild. Right, so um, it could be many different things. The pneumonia could be an exacerbating cause if she had, if she had a fever. But again, if you look at the video closely, uh, you know, it really looks like there's something going on that she's not really walking normally, more than just fainting. And yeah. I think that's, um, that's what we have to get the, you know, what, what's going on. It really is tough to look at because you do feel like there's something a lot more going on there. Mark Smith, you